The president began the day with a meeting with the leadership of the Association of Ghana Industries, AGI, on how best to turn things around. The AGI, a major player in the country's development, says it will help government to revive the economy, which has taken a nosedive. Government has come under intense fire following the continuous depreciation of the city, high fuel prices and the high cost of living. President of the AGI, Dr. Humphrey Kwesi Ayim Dake, says the AGI is willing to help. We welcome your invitation and we are grateful and it's our intention and we recognize your relentless effort to steer our economy to the pride of place and the desire to transform our economy to the best of your ability. We pledge our support that together we shall resolve the intended difficulties as we so find them. Present at the meeting were ministers of state, including under fire finance minister Ken Ufoyata, among others. President Kufado says he will need the support of all to revive the economy. To indicate to you a little where, where we've got to in the negotiations we're having with the fund, what it portends for the future of economic policy in our country, and then hopefully to have the opportunity to get your particular buy-in because we are talking and uh, hopefully concluding soon these important negotiations which are going to have, and you know as well as I do, an important impact on the way forward for the Ghanaian economy in the months and immediate years ahead. So it's basically a familiarization program and then also to hear from you what you think would be significant that you would want to hear about how we're going forward. After the meeting with the AGI, the president also met the leadership of the Ghana Association of Bankers on the depreciation of the city. The association had earlier met the governor and officials of the Bank of Ghana on how best to check the depreciation of the currency. The Council of State was also not left out on Tuesday's engagement. The president asked the council for wise counsel to turn things around. The last group to meet the president was the leadership of the GPRTU who had earlier threatened to increase the affairs by 40%. City News understands that the president is asking them to rather increase it by 15%.